Okay, what you're looking at here is a Mexican petunia, and uh, this was pretty root bound. This is the pot that it was in, and I think I'm going to go ahead and divide this up. Uh, and you want to, if you're raising Mexican petunias, they're very invasive, so you're going to want to have them in some sort of container uh, so that the root doesn't get into the soil, or you can have them in some like a bathtub. Uh, grow area, something where the roots are not going to um, get into the surrounding um, landscape because they will quickly overwhelm you and the roots are very difficult to to dig up. The other thing I wanted to show you is that um, the way that I was able to with not much effort to uh, remove the soil that was bound up in this plant was I noticed that it was infested with ants and you'll see the ants crawling here on the pot. So I let the ants continue to do their thing and um, what I did was once I noticed that it was loose enough, which was today with all the rain and with the watering, I went ahead and took it from the pot. Now there's two ways to get rid of these ants, which they are here, you can see them really teeming here. There's two ways to do this. If you just want them out of the local area, you can just use some water. And with that water, they will move on because ants do not like living in a wet environment. The other thing that you can do is use a one-to-one -one ratio of borax, which you can find in your laundry section, as well as sugar. So one-to-one -one ratio, and just moisten it enough so that it's like an icing consistency. The ants will take that to the queen it will poison her and the, the um, I think it's through dehydration, and the colony will collapse. It works every time. Um, and I can also tell you that it works for what we call palmetto bugs, and probably the rest of the world calls cockroaches. And um, if you have any questions about this, you can put those in the comments. If you have any ex similar experiences, uh, I'd be happy to know about those as well. Have a great day. Bye.